Supplements for better blood flow and circulation. Super Mike Allen here, ready to tell you all the facts you need to know about increasing blood circulation. First of all, why do you need blood circulation to happen? Top 10 reasons why you need your blood to be flowing. Number one, oxygen delivery. You need oxygen to all the cells in your body, and so that's going to help with that. Number two, nutrient transport. Blood transports the nutrients, including glucose, vitamins, and minerals uh, through the from the digestive system all through the cells in the body. Number three, waste removal. Blood carries metabolic waste products such as carbon dioxide and other byproducts away from cells to be eliminated through the lungs. So you breathe in the good, breathe out the bad, and the blood does all the work in between. Number four, temperature regulation. Blood helps regulate the body temperature by redistributing the heat. Number five, hormone distribution. So number five, hormone distribution. Chemicals are messengers that regulate various processes in the body, and all those hormones are carried along by the blood. Number six, immune system support. All those white blood cells are traveling through the blood to fight off infection and keep you healthy. Number seven, organ function. Proper blood flow is crucial for optimal function of organs such as the heart, brain, liver, kidneys, and others, all of which are vital for you to be alive. So they carry out their specific functions effectively. Number eight, we talk about this quite a bit on the channel, but wound healing. You can't heal very easily if your blood isn't flowing properly and if, those red plate, if the platelets aren't getting to where the source of the wound is. So blood flow is essential for the healing of wounds and injuries. The circulation system delivers immune cells, nutrients, and oxygen to the site of the injury, promoting tissue repair and regeneration. Number nine, blood pressure regulation. The circulatory system plays a crucial role in regulating blood pressure. Adequate blood flow is necessary to maintain normal blood pressure levels, which is crucial for preventing conditions such as hypertension, i.e. if you want to have a good healthy heart, you're going to need your blood flowing regularly. And then number 10, prevention of blood clots. Proper blood flow helps prevent the formation of blood clots. When blood circulates smoothly, the risk of clot formation is reduced, minimizing the likelihood of blockages in blood vessels. Now, if you think you may have a thinning or thickening, like a clotting issue, then you definitely want to consult a physician. You don't want to wait on that. Those are super important. If you're having an emergency, dial 911 or whatever it is in your country, but definitely consult a physician if you're having problems with blood clotting or not clotting. Those are critical. So I hear you saying, all right, Mike, you got me convinced that I definitely need my blood to be flowing in case you weren't completely on that page to begin with. Because if, if your blood flow doesn't flow to like a certain area of your body, like say a certain limb, then that limb is gone eventually. So you need that proper blood flow. All right, now that you're convinced, where can you get things that will help you with increased blood flow if you need it, better circulation? When you're really super young, you probably don't need any of these things. But if you are getting older, if you're, you know, say in your 40s or have diabetes or whatever, if you need that circulation to keep happening and it's not happening quite like you want it to, then this is the video for you. All right, number one, omega-3 fatty acids. You can find them in fish oil, flaxseed, and chia seeds. Omega-3 fatty acids are known to support heart health and may improve blood circulation. You can get... Uh, omega-3 fatty acids in any of the following the organic hemp blend and the smaller or larger amounts and then bee pearl which i've recommended because it has a lot of wonderful wonderful things that will help you with your immune system and fighting off disease so i'm going to go ahead and have a link to that video above the above the screen that you're currently looking at number two l-arginine the amino acid is a precursor to nitric oxide, a molecule that helps relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. It is commonly found in nuts, seeds, and dairy products, or you can get it from me in any of the following products. The male enhancement product, which you might already have assumed, horny goat weed has some of that in there, and then the shock powders that help you with your pre-workout, and also in my... Um, my diet formula thing that you can get there. But primarily, if you're working out and that's the reason why you're looking for the blood flow, then these would be the ones. If you are in some way needing blood flow for some other reason, this might be the thing for you here. I don't know how in depth you ever want to hear me talk about that, but I grew up very religious, so I'm less comfortable talking about that. But should someone need that, it's over here. Number three, 
COQ10, which is coenzyme Q10. It is involved in the production of energy in cells and is known to have antioxidant properties, which we all know the importance of antioxidants and why they are important. So I'll uh, save you that. I'll save you that spiel today. It may help you improve circulation by supporting the health of blood vessels. And yes, you can get that at my store right here. It's specifically a supplement. Garlic is number four. Garlic has been linked to improved circulation and may help lower blood pressure. It can be consumed fresh or in supplemental form. I don't have supplements that have garlic in them right now, but you, you can get that pretty easily at just about any store. And of course you can get actual garlic at just about any store that sells food. Update, one of the things you can get it in, you can get garlic in the multivitamin, which has a ton of other things in it. This is really worth looking at for your overall health in general. This multivitamin is less than $14. Uh, plus shipping, of course, but uh, basically I try to keep it at the almost minimum price there. And uh, the word complete, we've already talked about quite a bit, but some of the ingredients has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, all of which are super essential. It's got B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, and um, it has a bunch of other things here, B5, magnesium, uh, zinc, selenium, and uh, let's see, copper, glucamate, manganese, amino acid, uh, chromium, which is really good for lowering blood sugar, um, and then molybdenum and lycops. Okay, yeah, a couple of these are, are looking Latin. So, uh, and then stinging nettle, echinacea, which is good for uh, for overall health and your immune system boosting that echinacea there and then also it's got a spirulina which we've talked about in another video which might be above my head I don't know if it'll let me do a second card but if so then you'll see that video above the uh, above the screen that you're currently looking at and uh, the spirulina can help with it's basically an algae and it can help with your eyesight among other things but it is a huge benefit to your overall health and it has more beta carotene than carrots like 3,000 times more so that's why I recommend that one but uh, and then also uh, garlic is right there next to that antioxidant fruit berries hawthorn cinnamon I, I'll be mentioning hawthorn later so you definitely want to keep and then cinnamon bark I've mentioned in another video I'm sure I can't have three cards but you can look through the channel and watch a bunch of these things black currant fruit pomegranate so it's got some really good tasting as well but this particular vitamin is something that you need no matter what you're trying to do whether it's increased blood flow or if it is just overall health this thing is loaded with things that can help you another one number five ginkgo biloba that's an herb that is believed to enhance blood flow and has antioxidant properties It is often used to support cognitive function as well you can find it in the one that's literally called ginkgo biloba right there on the left, or you also can find it in the the greens, the green powder that is on, uh, that's basically giving you a bunch of the different green things that instead of, you know, you may not have an easy time eating greens, so you can get them in a shake right here with the shake powder, and then again, you can get them in the ginkgo biloba on the left. Number six, you may be surprised to find cayenne pepper is something. The compound responsible for the heat in cayenne pepper can dilate blood vessels and improve circulation. Now, a bunch of things at my store have pepper in them, but these are all black pepper. So that is not the same as cayenne pepper in case you're looking for it. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you do a specific search for cayenne pepper and that's going to give you just the one thing the male enhancement and if you are a woman this isn't the thing that's going to help you with blood flow number seven vitamin e as an antioxidant vitamin e protect cells from damage blood vessels from damage and you can get it from nuts seeds and vegetable oils and they're all good dietary sources of course as i mentioned earlier you can get it in that multivitamin if you do a search for vitamin E over here at my store, like I did, you can see that it is in all of these products right here. So there's a bunch of them, including, uh, well, there's a bunch of them, and then some of them are actually like lotions and type things. But um, there's also an article that you can read about elderberry and vitamin E. Elderberry is really good as far as this is a good, this multivitamin and this complete multivitamin are both really good sources of vitamin E and this elderberry with vitamin C is really good for immune boosting and vitamin E. And coming in at number eight, Hawthorne. Hawthorne is a 
uh, herbal supplement that has been traditionally used in supporting heart health and circulation. So that's going to be really important. I already mentioned where you can get Hawthorne. Let's not go back there again. And number nine, vitamin C. This vitamin is essential for health of blood vessels and may improve circulation. Citrus, fruit, strawberries, and bell peppers are good sources. And as you may recall, broccoli is also a good source of vitamin C. There's a whole other video on that. So just keep looking around all the videos on this channel. There's a ton of information here on how to live longer and how to put more life into those years. Number 10, one that I don't normally talk about or haven't talked about yet, is beetroot. So that is rich in nitrates. Again, beetroot, uh, beetroot helps dilate blood vessels, leading to improved blood flow. It can be consumed whole form or as a supplement. So if you don't like those beetroots, then you definitely, and they taste horrible. So in my opinion, they taste horrible. So you may want to get them as a supplement. Whether you get them from me or someone else, you definitely want to include beetroot if you think blood circulation is a problem that you're having and that you want to increase that flow of blood for whatever reason you might need that to happen. One of the main reasons would be if you're bodybuilding or working out a lot, you wanna make sure that you have your blood flowing all the time to keep you healthy. And of course, uh, for males to have normal sexual activity, you're gonna need your blood flowing. Okay, so I said it there, let's move on. I guess this is a good time for that legal warning to say, definitely consult a physician if you think you're going to have problems or might be having problems with any circulation related issues whatsoever. Hopefully you think I'm adorable because I'm a little bit nervous talking about that and I'm almost almost 50 years old. I have two grown children that you know are in their adulthood as well. And so if you like videos on how to live healthier and how to have your blood circulating and be healthy, boost your immune system, any of those kind of things, I'm your guy. Be happy to accept your like if you if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed my stammering just a little bit if it amused you. That's okay. That's a that's a good thing. And you know, laughter is one of the things that really adds life to your years because laughter is the best medicine aside from, you know, if you're already sick. But to prevent sickness, laughter is a really good thing. The more you laugh, the better you'll feel. You release you release endorphins. So it, it's gonna be really good for you there. Alrighty, so if you've enjoyed all the laughter and the fun and the education and the obvious mention of the things that where you can get them is from me, but you also can get these these things that increase blood flow from a ton of other things, including you can eat an actual beetroot, but I don't recommend it. Even if you buy the powder or buy the pills from some other place, I definitely don't recommend eating the actual thing. So all that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video because all my videos are about how you can live longer and put more life into your years. The next video will be right here.